beautiful family how are you doing thank you for the love the support so my beautiful people today i have a super one for you from the office of blood for blood page please hurry right now and check on him there you can get all the updates and watch this video to the end any information you need is there for you i just have to bring little of his message because this message is very powerful and you need to list it to him please check on him and watch the video to the end so that you can as well follow up of all the latest happening let me not talk too much i want you to listen to him right now and I'll be right back. And see the reason that he don't want to talk about all the happening in Israel. In fact, you don't need to miss this. Thank you. I will not talk about Israel. I will not talk about Israel. If you look on the screen, you will see the flag of the Jewish state of Israel. If you look at this gallant, brave soldier, of Biafra Liberation Army, beside him, you will see Israeli flag right there, the Jewish states of Israel. If you go across Biafra land, Igbo, Igbo land to be precise, you will see millions of flags, Israeli flags, as thousands of Igbos, a Jewish religion practices or practitioners. Hundreds of thousands of Igbos are practicing Jewish religion in their synagogue, in their place of worship, they have Israeli flags over there. We have carried Israel flags all over the place. We have spoke about Israel in many of our broadcasts. We have gave references to Israel. We have shown our affiliation with them because we believe that the Igbos of Biafra have something to do with Israel when it comes to relationship, blood relationship. Some people believe that the Igbo can be traced from Israel or Israel can be traced from Igbos. That means we have a kind of connection. That is why when there is any attack on Israel, we will be the first one, the Igbos will be the first one to raise alarm. The Igbos will be the first people to change their profile pictures to Israeli flag to show solidarity with the, with the, Israel, with the Israelites. But Israel have never shown solidarity with us. I have never seen our flags rolling all over the place in the state of Israel. The time you will see our flag raised up in Israel is when Biafrans are in a peaceful protest. The Biafrans will be the one to raise the flag over there. You cannot see the Israelis holding our flag in, to show they are proud of us. You see, We have show many countries like uh, we have shown many countries that we are willing to work with them in partnership, in relationship. We have carried flag of Russia all over the place and we were massacred. Russia said nothing about it. Despite seeing our flags rolling across the Afro land in solidarity, in partnership, in recognition of them in our land. They, 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 they keep calm and mute, mute as if they did not see it. But if we burn his Russian flag, had it been that we burn Russian flag, even one in our land, they will quickly react and comment on it. But when we carried Russian flag in the Biafran territory and we are more done by the Nigerian security forces, Russia never spoke about it, even holding their own flag. When we hold American flag in Biafra land, we will be more than even holding American flag. America kept quiet and act as if they did not know that we are recognizing them in our land. 
But had it been that we born even a single American flag in Biafran territory, they will show it in, on CNN. They will show it all over the place. They will show it in their mainstream media that Biafrans born their flag. But holding their flag in our hands and got, and got killed by the Nigeria Happy Trigger Secret Forces, America never spoke about Biafra for one single day. Likewise, Israel never spoke about Biafra for one good day. Despite practicing the same religion, most of Biafrans practice the same religion with them, carrying their flag, recognizing, recognizing them, but welcoming their presence in our land. Yet, Israel never talked about Biafra. America never spoke about Biafra. Russia never spoke about Biafra. All these countries that we have recognized their flags in our territory never spoke about us. So why should I be the one to come here and be talking about them? What they are experiencing, what they experience today is what we have been experiencing over, over time and time again. There has been attacks. There have been massacring of the Igbos even in the northern Nigeria and even in Biafra land. We never see any of these people announce it even to the, bring it bring bring it to their people now you know when they say emancipate yourself by yourself no one will do it but you that is what it means that is what it means that is what it means no one absolutely no one is coming to rescue you from your mess I love the swift actions of the Israel against the attackers. Against the attackers. They mobilize themselves swiftly and they retaliate. That is what you do when people come to take your life away from you. Many people have been massacred today. Innocent people that did nothing in Israel. If you don't know, let me tell you. But the swift response of the Israeli military for armed forces it what makes a country who they are if it was in africa we will, we will be praising jesus we will be crapping calling send down fire god of elijah send down fire send down fire to do what when you have your hands those who those who came and invade your land has two hands, two, one head, two legs, exactly what you have. But when they come and take your children away, murder your women, you went into prayer, as your religious leaders will encourage you to do. Your religious leaders will tell you to keep praying, keep clapping, keep, you know, fasting, that it's going to be okay. Yes, it's going to be okay, because there is tithes and offerings rolling into the ministry. Who want their business to shut down? When you retaliate and things escalate, the next Sunday, there will be nobody to go to church. Where would they get money to maintain their private jets or luxury life they are living? So they will tell you to calm down. Everything is going to be okay. God is coming from heaven to fight for you. The next time, these people will come again, do the same thing and go back. You keep praying and keep waiting for miracle for God of Elijah to send down fire. I am coming here live this evening to tell you. If you don't rise up and defend the land of Biafra in any means possible. I can assure you one thing. The victim of today was a survival of yesterday. And the survival of today can be a victim tomorrow. It's quite unfortunate when things happen, everybody pretend as if it's, it's none of their business. 10,000 get killed somewhere in Benue State. The whole, of the, the whole of Nigeria pretend nothing is happening. It's none of their business. But those who got more down did not know that people are coming to take their life away from them. When kidnappers are all over the place, 
you still go about your business. I know you will say there is government in place, but this government in place, some of those commissioners have hand in those kidnapping because they sell those the human parts they got from their victim. You don't know what is happening in your land. You don't know what is happening in your land. They have sworn an oath to take your life away from you. They say they are coming. They are you are Nyamini. You are good to those soldiers that they sent to Biafra land, Ibo land to be precise upon. When you see men fighting to keep your life, you come to social media and you see people talking down on people who are protecting you, who are protecting your mothers. Two, three, four years ago, there's report all over the place that our mothers could not go to their farms. Before the establishment of Eastern Security Network, all over the place, cows eating people's crop, destroying people's farm in, 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 in Igbo land. Mothers are afraid to go to their farm because of the afraid of being attacked by his men. But today, mothers are going to their farm. How many farmland have we seen destroyed in the, in the last one year? How many farmland have you seen on social media or posted on social media being destroyed by Fulani and their cows? How many? Somebody made it possible. People made it possible. Fighters made it possible. Men and women like you who talk nonsense and rubbish on social media against these fighters made it possible. They made it possible that there is food in our land today because these people, they want to make sure they destroy our livelihood so we can starve. Those in the city who live in the city, they eat gari, they eat all these things. They eat melon, vegetable. These are farm produce from the villages, from the rural areas, if those things are not being cultivated and harvested and bring to the city, what would they eat in the city? This is the coordinated plan of the caliphate to destroy our farmland so that those in the city can be vulnerable and go, and go hunger and starvation in the city. People, men and women of Eastern Security Network put their lives on the line and stop his men from destroying our land. Even in the midnight, men and women walk in the forest looking for his men. On the process, many of Eastern Security Network members have been lowered in the grave today because they were fighting to protect your farmland. They are fighting to protect you. They are fighting to protect that your innocent mother. I know you live in city. You live in United Kingdom. You live in Europe. You live in America. You live in different countries. You don't care. It is not of your business. But you have elderly people in your village. The only thing they eat, the only thing that gives them money, the only thing they make money from is their farm. When they cultivate when it's time to harvest, they will harvest it, go to the market, sell it, and have money to take care of themselves. When something did not affect you personally, don't pretend that that thing does not happen. Some of you have taken your families out of the country. Living large in another man's country, you don't know how much they fought hard to keep that country safe. As a Black man, you always like to reap where you did not sow. When it's time to sow, you hide yourself. You dodge yourself. You don't want to associate from sowing. You just want to harvest. You just want to enjoy. You just want to eat where you did not sow. Just like the way we are talking about Biafra right now. There are people who, millions of people are shying away from it. They don't want to associate themselves from this freedom they don't want to talk about it they don't want to share any program on their facebook pages 
that related to Biafra. You are living in Europe. You are living in America, living in Asia, Australia, different countries. You are enjoying the dividends of those countries who fought hard to keep their country safe. You are enjoying. But you are land. Anytime you think of coming home, what comes to your mind is, are you sure I'm going to make made it alive? Are you sure that I'm not going to be kidnapped? Are you sure that I'm not going to run into trouble? That was comes to your mind. But, but now that we are saying that we need to fight and restore this country, you don't want to associate yourself from it. You don't want to associate yourself with it. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to hear it. Some of you have platforms where they talk against Biafra, where they talk against Mazen Nandekano, where they talk against Simon Epa. If these people decide to live their life today, they will enjoy the rest of their life without any problem. But because they have come to do something, because at the end of the day, somebody must do something. Somebody must do something. At the end of the day, there are people who have been chosen before they were born that they are going to be the protector of the land. In the field of play, in the field of, of play, football, in the pitch, only 22 players are doing the job. Why millions of people are in around the world and even in the stadium? Clapping for them. That clapping motivates these 22 players in the pitch who are doing the job. That is to say, you might a spectator with, by clapping for those who are doing this fighting, by encouraging them, by sharing programs such as this, by motivating fighters so they know people appreciate them. Do you think those who died in the cause of this freedom don't want to live like you? Do you think more men and women who has given their life on the line of duty for this Biafra restoration don't want to enjoy like you? They also wanted to enjoy, but duty called and they answered the call. And today, their life has been cut short by the bullets of the enemy, Nigerian states. All you can do is to come to social media to talk down on this type of people, freedom fighters. Like Mazen Nandekan once said, and I quote, if we stop now, we are finished. If we give up now, and say, let's abandon this Biafra and embrace one Nigeria, we are finished. Because what we are pushing nearly gave Obi the victory. That is why even Obi gets the mandate to be, to, to, rule, to, be, to be a participant in the presidential race. Because of what you are doing. What Biafrans are doing was the reason why Peter Obi had a chance to participate in the presidential election. All along, what the Igbos, the Eastern, has been looking for is vice presidents. Vice presidents. But because of the pressure coming from the Biafrans, Obi had a chance to, to participate in the presidential race. And if truth be spoken, Mr. Peter Obi won the president of Nigeria in a clean and clear state of mind. He won it. But you know what? That they gave, the caliphate gave you the chance to participate does not mean that you are going to rule them. It is written, never allow Igbo to rule. That is Naira. Naira, never allow Igbo Rule Nigeria.
But they wanted to use P2B to calm the agitation down. To, to, to make it look as if that if we can give up this Biafra, a South Easterner, an Igbo man can rule Nigeria. But because people like Mazi Simon understood that Nigeria cannot trust the leadership in the hand of an Igbo man, he keep pushing. You that voted for P2B, you know that P2B won the presidential election. Did they allow him to rule? No. If we if we had stopped that time that people say, stop, stop, let's give P2B a chance today, where would we have been? Where I mean, where would we have been? Where would we have been if we come back to agitate again? They say, look at these fools, look at these monkeys, look at these idiots. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You gave a shot by presenting P2B and P2B lost. Now you want to come back and talk about Biafra? Go and see that you don't know what you're talking about. That is the pressure they gave Odime Bojuku. And they said to him, Sir, you, you, are, you are right to contest for a president of Nigeria and God willing, you will become the president of Nigeria because of your statue in Igbo land. You can rule Nigeria. They know by this man, Ojuku contesting for election, it will be in a history that a lead, a once leader of Biafra movement abandoned Biafra and contest election in one Nigeria. It will be in history. When they convinced and confused Odime Ojuku, he accepted and run a presidential race. What happened? The rubbish of the Bojuku, even where he comes from, Anambra states, he was rubbish. Today, they are using him as a reference. That even Ojuku, the, the leader of Biafra movement, contested election in one Nigeria. That is that thing they wanted. They wanted to use that phrase. They wanted to enter in the record. They want to use it as a phrase. They want to use it to calm you down. They want to use it to confuse you. That is what they wanted to do to make sure that whenever you rear your head to talk about Biafra, they will present this picture to you and say, look, Ojuku, your former leader abandoned Biafra. And contested election to become president of Nigeria. How about you? What are you talking about? I just want to say this to you. A fight for freedom is a fight to finish. Do not give up. If you have not reached your destination, what will you do? You keep going. I want to talk about Biafra. I want to keep talking about Biafra. I don't want to talk about any other country right now. If anybody, any country raise Biafra flag in their cities, in their, I don't mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not talking about Biafrans who live in those countries. No, I mean the citizens of those countries, their governments. If they talk about Biafra, if they raise our flag in their television, in their, in, in their radio station, in their TV station, in their cities, I will talk about them. Israel have never recognized Biafra. Despite talking about them, despite holding their flag, despite raising their flag in the entire Biafra land, in solidarity, in recognition, in friendship, in partnership, in relationship, in bloodline, yet Israel, the state of Israel have never talked about us. Even when we are massacred in cold blood, they never talk about Biafra. They, they receive all this news, they see it, they confirm it, their diplomats see it. The Israel government never talk about Biafra. They don't want to talk about it because you're a black man. They don't need you. They don't want to talk about you. So why should you be the one talking about them? Is it because they have white skin? Is it because Israel have white skin? That is why when something happened to them, you must bring it to the social media to talk about it. When something happened in France, even France will make Africa dry. You want to talk about it. But when something happened to you, no European, no Westerner will ever talk about it. They sweep 
they will sweep it under the carpet. Most of them are sponsors of what you are facing. You must receive sense. You must have sense. Today, Israel have what it takes to defend the state of Israel. Do you have it? Do you have it in your in Biafra land? Do you have what it takes to defend yourself? Do you have iron gates, iron dome? Do you have anything that captures rockets in the sky before it landed? Do you have it? When terrorists launch attack from the air, do you have artificial intelligence that will capture the bomb in the air and destroy it in the same air? Israel have it four corner of Israel so they can defend themselves. Stop talking about people who can defend themselves against internal and external aggression. Talk about yourself. Propagate yourself. Because at the end of the year, at the end of the day, it is you versus you. I'm tired of coming to social media to see Biafrans talking about something that does not concern them. Talk about what concerns you. What concerns you right now is your land is under siege. And they have sworn an oath to do anything it takes to take this land away from you. Some of you don't know this. But there are men and women who have sworn an oath to defend the land of Biafra. Even if it means to put their life in the course. And many, many of us are doing it. How do you encourage us? How do you... So my wonderful family, as I said before, if you want to watch this video to the end, if you want to listen to him, follow his page on Blood for Blood, where you can listen to everything that he got to say. In fact, the message is so interesting. Why he will not talk about Israel and the failure of Israel not supporting Biafra. Hmm. Check on him. Share this video. Like and subscribe. Thank you and bye.